Good afternoon and welcome to the week one overview video for psychology 496, uh, which is looking at the integration of psychology and Christianity. So let's go ahead and look at the agenda. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start off by praying. Let's go ahead and do it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us this day and all the opportunities that you gave us, all the abilities that you gave us to do whatever we did today, whether it was work, hang out with our family, uh, read a book, access our classes. Lord, we're, we're blessed to have the ability to do these things. We thank you for that, Lord. We And we realize that each morning we wake up, it means that you have a plan for us because when you are done with us and you're ready for us to come to heaven, you will take us away. Lord, we also thank you and, and we know that there's a reason why you've put us into this specific class, okay? Psychology and Christian integration. We know that there's a reason, Lord, and we, we ask you to give us your wisdom and lead us to that reason. And Lord, in that way, we dedicate this time in this class to you, this week and all of the other weeks of this class. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, we pray. Amen. Okay, so... I'm always going to provide a worship video and that's posted on the module section of Canvas. So you'll be able to see that today. It'll be pretty clear. And, and the module section of Canvas is our homepage for the class. You click home, you're there. Uh, so this week it's gonna be Reckless Love. Okay. And I also posted uh, a little lecture, I think it's like 25 minutes long, less than a half an hour long, that goes over the prologue in chapter one, okay? Um, and I note a couple videos that I also want you to watch after you watch uh, this uh, re review of the prologue and chapter one of the five views. Okay, so let me actually just show you that right now. Why not? Hold on, my Zoom ribbon is in my way. It always happens. Okay, there you go. Oh, wrong. It'd be over here. Okay, so for example, this is the week one module. It's telling you to read from the five views. Chapter one from Epic, the prologue from the Bible, Matthew and James. Okay, uh, I'm filming this overview video and the syllabus review right now. So that video is going to be posted here. Okay, the agenda is always going to be posted. Here's the worship video. And then when you take a look at the prologue and chapter one, five views lecture, okay, it's right here. The lecture notes are here, okay? And you see, these are the two videos I'm asking you to watch to supplement what's talked about in the prologue and chapter one lecture, okay? And then beyond that, <laughs> while I'm in the week one module, all that's due this week by Sunday are the week one uh, notes covering Matthew and James and the week one quiz. So what's next on the agenda? Well, I need to review the syllabus. Okay, it's quite standard. This is an asynchronous course. So my office hours will probably toggle. I'm thinking of doing 5.30 to 7.30. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll bump it to 4.30 to 6.30. So it's gonna be somewhere in that range, uh, but for now, just consider that office hours will be 5.30 to 6.30 on Thursdays, or of course, by appointment. Uh, feel free to email me at any time. For those of you who've had me in class before, I'm very faithful about answering emails, especially during the week. I'm a little slower on weekends uh, due to uh, family, which I think, uh, most of you understand. So, okay. And who am I? Might as well talk about that a little bit. I think some of you already know me, but my name is uh, Mark uh, D. Kanan. 
I received my PhD in social personality psychology at the University of California, Riverside back in 2012. Uh, just slightly before I graduated, I started working for San Bernardino County as a researcher. Okay. Right now I, I hold the title of senior statistical analyst. And I, I also teach at a, a couple colleges, a few colleges, one of them being APU. I teach a variety of classes, including uh, psychology and faith integration. I'm also teaching research methods right now. And I also, uh, uh, right now I'm teaching at San Bernardino Valley College uh, statistics, uh, but traditionally teach statistics and research methods, right? So that's kind of my my specialty, right? So as someone who holds a PhD in social personality psychology, my focus is research, right? Whereas other uh, PhDs, uh, let's say in, in clinical, their focus is being a practitioner. So that's kind of the approach that I'm coming from. So that's why it makes sense for me to, to teach, especially stats, research methods, uh, and a bunch of theory classes, and then to also work in industry. If y'all have any questions about this, uh, about what I'm doing, feel free to email me. Obviously, this is something that you could also be doing. There's a lot of opportunities uh, in this life. So, and I will be happy to mentor anyone who takes the initiative to reach out to me. Okay. Uh, so beyond that, that's kind of my in introduction. Oh yeah, hold on. Email. Uh, please don't email my APU e email address unless there's some issue with Canvas. I'd prefer that you use the Canvas feature right here. You see this, the inbox feature. Click on that, send me an email. It's it's uh, a lot better. I get pop-up messages on my phone. It's a lot more organized. I can uh, see the communication that we've had before, et cetera. Okay, so there are basically four books that you need. Psychology and Christianity, Five Views, okay? I gave you the ISBN number. It's on Amazon, probably a day or two delivery if you have Prime. Uh, it's, I think, around 20 or 25 bucks, so it's not too bad. Then we have Epic, uh, John Eldridge, okay? Go ahead and pick this up as well. I think it's a few bucks, as well as the screw tape letters. So fortunately, the books for this class are not very expensive. Uh, if you don't have a Bible, they have viable options on Audible if you don't have time to read. Uh, sincerely, if you don't have time to read, just get it on Audible and listen to it, maybe on your way to work or while you're working or whatever, uh, because reading the Bible is is essential to understanding Christianity, okay? And if you're a Christian, it's essential to you gaining uh, wisdom, gaining discernment, uh, moving your life closer and closer uh, to what God wants from you. There's a couple optional texts. Here's another book. It's a lot longer regarding uh, psychology and Christian integration. So it may be worth taking a look at after this class if you're interested, but I found the five views to be the most user-friendly and very sufficient. So there's a university mission statement. You can review that, the department mission statement, course description. This class makes explicit what, what each psychology class at Azusa does implicitly, uh, integrate the discipline of psychology with the Christian faith. It examines the theoretical and theological issues involved in this process and then probes specific areas within the field of psychology. Yeah, and you'll see that along the way. There are five different ways of integrating psychology and Christianity that will be talked about in this course, okay? Make sure your assignments are turned in on time. That's the big thing. Everything should be super clear. You you go to Canvas, click on the home page, uh, look at the modules, all the due dates are clear. Basically, everything's due at Sunday. Okay, Sunday, 11.59 p.m. If you haven't submitted it, uh, then then it, it's it's late. If there, if obviously if there's emergency, I'm gonna be uh, flexible, okay? I'm gonna give you some grace there, just like uh, uh, God gives us grace every day. Uh, 
But that being said, make sure you get your assignments in on time. OK, so how is this going to function? You're going to have three weekly notes from the Bible readings. OK, each one you turn in is going to be 2% of your final grade. Basically, what you're going to be doing is you're going to pick three passages or verses. So they have to be distinct passages. So maybe Matthew 1, 1 Matthew 2, 2, and James 1, 1, you know, this week. I don't know. Uh, but for each passage that you pick, so literally quote the passage, okay, passage 1, you know, use these questions to talk about it, okay? So how does this passage contribute to my understanding of what it means to be a Christian? How does this passage clarify how Christians should think and or act? Can this passage be turned into some sort of ritual to remember? For example, if you framed a given passage or verse and you put it by your front door and read it every day before you left the house, would it have a positive impact on your life? So it's all you're doing there, okay? Again, these notes, I try to design these assignments because they're all about you, all about your growth, okay? I don't want to waste your time. I think this is going to be very powerful for you. And again, if you don't have time to read the Bible, please get it on Audible and listen to it. Because if if you just fake it and you just kind of find some random verses and write about them, this assignment is, is not going to be as powerful as it could be. There's going to be seven weekly quizzes based on the five views, okay, the, the, the lectures that I post the book, <clears throat> the Bible, okay? So that's what the quizzes are going to be on. Each quiz is going to be worth about 3.14% of your grade or pi. Weekly papers, there, there's going to be a total of six weekly papers, okay? And basically these weekly papers are critical analyses, if you will of the five views. So the first view, psychology and Christian integration is the levels of explanation view. The second view is the integrated view, Christian psychology view, transformational psychology view, biblical counseling view. And then this, this sixth paper is going to allow you to compare and contrast all these different views. Okay. Week two through six view summaries must include the following sections appropriately appropriately labeled using APA style. So literally, you need these headers in your paper. Summary of the major points of the view. Strategies to integrate psychology and Christianity according to the view. Strengths of the view, weaknesses of the view. And of course, do not include a name label because you're using Canvas. I know that you turned it in. I don't need your name on the paper. Okay. Your submission must be an APA style, which means it's double space times new Roman 12.1 inch margins. Okay. There's also seven reaction forums or discussions. They're, e they're each worth about 2.29% of your total grade. Your initial post needs to be 200 words. Your responses, which you're required to respond to two other students, need to be 100 words each, okay? So as you're writing in Word, or uh, I believe, is it called pages, it's possible to see a word count, okay? So make sure uh, you, you have at least the minimum. You can write more. This is a soft deadline. I really want you to have your initial post due Fridays by 11.59 p.m., okay? So that allows people Saturday and Sunday to reply, get their, get their replies in there, two replies that are required. Okay, there's another exercise. It's a future self or obituary exercise, okay? These uh, details are posted on Canvas. And, and basically the idea is <clears throat> uh, it's an opportunity to write your own obituary and, and 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 why you're like, well, that's weird, but you could write like what you feel like God's calling you to do or how your life will look, you know, when 
let's say you die 50 years from now, what will you have accomplished, right? That's the, that's the goal. And then there's the final faith integration paper, which we'll review now. That's worth 32% of your total grade. And it's actually a really long paper, but as you'll see in a second, by completing the future self obituary exercise, by completing the discussion posts, by completing the weekly papers, and really by completing the Bible notes, because it's possible to kind of intertwine that in there as well, you're, you're writing this final faith integration uh, paper along the way. And here you see presentation. Uh, because it's an asynchronous class, I don't believe I'm going to be doing a presentation. So it should really just say faith integration paper. So we'll just leave it at that. I think that's good. So let's put a pin in that faith integration paper and we'll come back to it in a second. What I wanna do first is take a look at this course outline. So you, you have something to read every week, five views, epic, Bible, okay? Then you have notes and quiz, right? Okay. And then you have forum, notes, quiz, paper. Okay, and reading, of course. So here's your reading again. And then you see, right, forum, notes, quiz, paper. So you see the pattern? Reading, forum, notes, quiz, paper. Reading, forum, notes, quiz, paper. Reading, forum, notes, quiz, paper. Week seven, reading, forum, notes, the future self obituary exercise, quiz, paper. And then week eight is notes, okay? the last book of the bible revelations okay and uh faith integration paper do and it, again it says faith integration presentation uh that's not going to be there so i'm going to go ahead and clear that off the syllabus uh eventually and and post a new copy Oh, and one other thing about this course outline to consider is that this course outline mirrors Canvas, okay? So. Oops. So I'm still in the syllabus. Let's take a look at Appendix A, which is the final faith integration paper. Context, <clears throat> this paper is not only a culmination of what you've learned regarding psychology at, at and Christian integration over the past term, but a culmination of your time here at Azusa Pacific University. Paper format, APA style. You must use the APA checklist provided in Appendix B regarding formatting. That's interesting. I think it's actually... My bad. I bumped it to Appendix C. So I'll, I'll update that. All these little things, right, as you update the course along the way. Okay. Uh, again, APA style, just <clears throat> reference, reference that checklist. The main thing I care about is that your headings are proper, that you're using one-inch margins times New Roman, size 12, really that basic APA stuff. So... The paper will be divided up into the following sections. So it's a 22 page minimum, okay? There's no abstract that's needed. So the first page will be, well, you should have a title page, right? And then uh, you should have a table of context, contents, which is one page. So basically you list all the major headings in your paper and put page numbers. So it, it's easier for me to take a look at and it's easier for you to reference because I see this as a living document. This is a document about you and the plan that God has for you, where you're going to go 
in 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 this life where you where you plan to go where you're feeling called to go not only in the realm of psychology but in outside of psychology as well so the first part of the paper is the critical analysis of the five views so remember there are six papers at two pages of pop so that's 12 pages okay so literally what you're going to do is you're going to take all your weekly papers and dump them in there right so all of a sudden, that 22-page paper minus 12 doesn't look so intimidating. It's down to a 10-page, but it's going to be more of the same. The personal application section, okay, you're going to take your week two and week three reaction forms, and you're going to put in what you wrote. That's why I do a good job on these, right? Write them once, write them good. You use them in your, <clears throat> in your reaction form, your discussion, then you use them in your final paper. Uh, the next section I want you to include is your section on the screw tape letters, which is the week seven reaction forum, uh, and then your reaction forum on the golden circle, okay? And then your obituary future self exercise, your SWOT analysis, which is the week five and six reaction forums. And then I want you to discuss your psychology calling. And what does that mean? It's God's suggested mission for you in the field of psychology, and this is a one-page minimum. Again, these are all minimums. If you want to write more, remember, it's for you. So the more details you give, the more organized you make it, you can literally go back and reference this paper and update it as you journey forward in life, okay? But for me, I need something to grade, so I need minimums. If you have the minimum, okay, and you're on topic, then you're good. For example, things to consider when you're writing the section, what will you be doing? Who will you serve? How will you be serving them? What will a typical day look like? The next part is to discuss your psychology, or sorry, your calling in the context of one or more of the five views of psychology and Christian integration. For example, how will psychology and Christian integration change your average day? Have you created rituals of empowerment to make God salient or present in your day-to-day -day life, right? Because with all the hustle and bustle and the abundance that we have, it's easy to forget about God. If you discussed multiple views, which view of integration do you favor? If you do not favor any of these views, what is your view of psychology and Christian integration? This can include deciding not to integrate psychology and Christianity. Again, you're not forced to do it. But this option's being presented to you. Explain why you've decided to integrate psychology and Christianity in this way, or why you have decided to not integrate psychology and Christianity. Discuss your non-psychology calling. This is the next section. This is also one page minimum. So God suggested mission for you in non-psychology aspects of your life. Okay. And then you have your conclusion section. Okay, given all that was presented and discussed in your paper, where do you go from here? Discuss your short term goals and sub goals. Sub goals are like action items that you can fulfill to complete the goal related to your calling. Okay, that you want to complete in the next year. So, short term goals or one year goals. Okay, and then I want you to discuss your long term goals okay? related to your calling. Uh, these are five year goals. Again, this is the minimum. If you want to do 10-year goals, you can. But one-year goals, five-year goals are very meaningful. Consider finishing the paper off with a prayer and or a statement of empowerment that you can say to yourself every day, particularly when you are down. Okay. And again, this section needs to be about one to two pages long. Uh, the, the reference section is simple. Uh, and... I'll I'll give you I'll give you some better examples here. Uh, it, this is not going to be your standard reference section. Basically, you can cite. I want you to cite where everything comes from. So as you're inserting all your papers here, I want you to indicate uh, week two paper. You know what I mean? Uh, as an in-text citation week two and three reaction form here. You know what I mean? So let me, um, I'll get back to you on this reference section to make sure it's abundantly clear. 
So Appendix B is generally, uh, you know, some good guidance for writing reaction forms. I don't really care too much about, uh, you know, obviously if you cite something, you all know APA citation, so just do that. Okay. But it's not, what I'm trying to say, it's not a huge deal to me. I care more about content. And here's what I was talking about, Appendix C, the APA checklist. Okay. Okay, so we reviewed the syllabus. We talked about what's due next Sunday, the week one notes, okay, and the week one quiz. Okay. And that's that's all I have. So let's go ahead and and pray, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us this day, this opportunity to experience this class together. Lord, just, just help the students realize how much a blessing this class is because everything they've learned so far in psychology has been secular psychology. But psychology interacting with Christianity, the integration of psychology and Christianity uh, can not only, or will not only be a blessing to them as a psychologist, as a child of God, but it will be a blessing to their clients who will have that opportunity to heal deeper than just being healed by this world. Lord, we are so thankful. We are so blessed to be here. People just don't have opportunities like this. May we put in the work to make the best out of this experience that you're giving us. Lord, give the students the wisdom to turn to you during these next eight weeks. Obviously, this class is opposed. Satan would not want these students to be empowered, to be your servants, to follow you, to, to heal people deeply in the name of Jesus Christ. And along the way, there's going to be distractions from this class, shortcuts like, ah, we'll skip the Bible reading this week or whatever. And Satan will whisper in their ear that, what, what are you doing? Like, why are you even taking this class? You don't have the ability to succeed. Who are you? But we we are children of God. It is no longer us, for those of you who are Christian, it is no longer us, but Christ who lives within us. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord, for all those who are suffering uh, in this world, may they see your face, may they follow you because you are the answer to everything. We know that we must seek you first and then everything will fall into place. Lord, for all these intentions and the ones we hold in our hearts, we pray to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. This is the ironic blessing number 624 through 26. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a wrap. Again, I uh, feel free to email me. Always happy to answer those emails. Email me through Canvas. And then office hours for now will be Thursdays from 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. Uh, have a great 4th of July. Take care.